Hey everyone, it's me. I want to tell you about an experience I had that I, I, I'm very saddened by, and this has to do with church, and a particular church that I, I was a part of for many years. Just to give you my upbringing, I was raised Catholic, eventually joined the military, became the uh, be became a born-again Christian through By His Word Christian Center in, in Washington State, went on to another Bible-believing church that spoke in tongues, and then eventually settled into evangelical or non-denominational, etc. And over time, when we returned to Wisconsin, I would go, I, I became a member of Elmbrook Church, and it was my home. And it was during the time when Stuart Briscoe was the lead pastor. And Stuart was simply amazing. And I remember I'd sit in one of the first four rows and he would preach. And I, I was filled through his preaching. And then after service one day, I waited to talk to him and I was really excited and he said, you know, I'm really glad you attend church and I really connect with you because when you're, when I'm preaching, you, you're always nodding your head and I know that you're listening to what I'm saying. I said, well, it's because I agree with what you're saying and I connect with it. And so we had a moment and then after, a, you know, a while I, Stuart was no longer the lead pastor. So I, you know, I moved on to another church, etc. And but I'll tell you, Elmbrook bagged when Stuart was preaching, and I don't know how long after he left, but Elmbrook is a huge facility. They have a main um, chapel or sanctuary that which holds thousands, and then they have a smaller sanctuary and Bible study groups and daycare and, and children's Bible. You know, it's it was they had so many people that attended this church that it, they had traffic cops directing traffic to and from because it was just like being in a, in a, a city. It was amazing. It was so full of life and people and such. But like I said, I, you know, I, I stopped going to Elmbrook after Stuart left because another pastor took over and I just didn't connect and I found a different way. And and then I stopped going to church altogether and that's just the way it was. But now I'm married and I'm trying to find my way back and find a place my husband and I can really enjoy. We're just two normal people with tattoos and he does his work and I'm retired and so we're just trying to find a place where you know, just we can connect with other people. And so he was busy this weekend. And so I decided I was going to go start church shopping and find a place where we can both thrive. And I said, well, I'm going to go back to Elmbrook. I am not kidding. It was like a ghost town. And I had no problems pulling in, finding a place right up front to park. I walked in and the once filled halls were very sparse, sparse, sorry about that. And I went down at 1030 because the second service starts at 1045. I went and what was once a filled sanctuary, there was not a even, except the greeters, I didn't really see anyone even sitting in the church. So I was confused and I thought, do they not have a second service or what's going on? So I sat down and people started to wander in and you'd have one person in each pew. And I think maybe a hundred people were there. I didn't take count. But what was once a mega church has now diminished to a, a very small amount of people. I didn't, I didn't go to the first service, but the band was amazing. The music was amazing. The message overall was good. Um, but what was once this mega church filled to capacity where it was even hard to find a place to sit is now so sparse. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And for the amount of people, instead of using a large 
the large sanctuary. They could have used the smaller sanctuary. They have two. And I thought, why aren't they just setting up for a lesser crowd in a smaller area? But then I went on to do some research and I found out that they have had some major issues with their lead pastors and things like that. So I was really, really sad because this great church that Stuart Briscoe built is, is, is so far away from the way it used to be and it's, it just didn't feel like a place I, I I really didn't find anyone. I, I don't know. I, I just wanted to say that I'm really sad about it. And I, I know they're bringing in a new pastor, and I hope he turns things around. But, you know, as for me and my household, my husband, I'm going to find another place to go for the time being. But I hope Elmbrook can turn it around because, man, this is just the saddest situation I've probably have seen. I don't know what Stuart's thinking from heaven since he recently passed within this last year. But I know his heart has got to be really sad uh, about this. And if they can find another Stuart Briscoe to bring back in there. I know they can turn this around and bring it back to life. So Elmberg Church, I, I'm holding you in my thoughts because I'm really sad. So I hope you can turn it around and we'll be back. Bye-bye.